Hi everyone, most welcome to eCivil Tech. This video is the continuation of the board series. In previous two videos, we have learned about the basic part of the structure board, type of boards, and their uses. In this video, we will learn about the grade of boards and how it is indicated on the boards. By the end of the video, you will be able to identify the grade of boards just by looking on it. So this video is going to be very useful for the contractors, site engineers, procurement engineers, as well as design engineers. Basically, grade of bolts indicates the strength of material. Higher grades means higher strength, more stiffer, but less ductile. Whereas low grade bolts indicates low strength, less stiff, but more ductile. This image shows one of the methods to indicate the grade on the head of hexagonal bolt. You can see this XYZ is actually manufacturer's identification mark and this add point air grade is the bolt grade or you can say property class. In this picture this is brand name and this 5.6 is the grade of bolt. These are some popular grades which are used in the structural design and the construction. In this table, table number 15 you can see one or more way to represent the bolt grade. In this method, you have to keep the dot on 12 o'clock position and check the position of the straight line. Here the straight line is at 3 o'clock positions, that means it is 3.6 grade. Here it is at 4 o'clock positions, means 4.6 grade bolt. Here double line indicates the 4.8 grade, but here 6.8 grade is indicated only by one line as there is no 6.6 grade in this code. Similarly, here Single line is used for 10.9 grade bolt as there is no 10.6 or 10.8 grade bolt. So if you are in procurement department or a site engineer, then you have to memorize all these markings. Now you can pause the video and you can understand the marking with respect to grade. These are foundation bolts. These are also called as studs. These bolts do not have head. So their grade marking are done either on their body or on the top of the stud. This is fully threaded stud, so there is no space on the body for the marking, so the marking will be done on the top of the stud. There are some alternative ways to represent the grade of bolts shown in table number 16. It goes like straight line for 5.6, circle for 8.9, plus for 9.8, square for 10.9 and triangle for 12.9. Now let's understand how to decode these grades and find out the actual strength of material. These grades are not real number, these are just symbol. Let's decode 4.6 grade. Here multiply the number before the decimal with 100 and we will get the ultimate stress that is 4 into 100, 400 mega Pascal that is Newton per mm square. And multiply this ultimate strength, this 400 mega Pascal with your 0.6 and you will get 240 mega Pascal. So this will be your yield strength. Similarly for 5.6 grade, before the decimal the number is 5, so multiply this 5 with 100 you will get 500 MPa which will be your ultimate stress FU, ultimate tensile stress you can say and uh, this multiply this ultimate stress 500 with 0.6 and you will get 300 MPa which is your yield strength. So similarly you can also calculate for 6.8 grade and 8.8 grade. That's it for this video. In next video, we will understand the calculation of shear and tension capacity of bolts. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this informative video and will be useful in your career. Like, share and subscribe. See you again. Take care.